One day, Bulgy was fuming after he broke in an axle when he messed with the towers and that the engines had problems with their boilers and that he took Burry's pastures along with his pastures and that he broke an axle. He was at the work scan repairs after he's been taken to the works by rails. The rails should be turned into roads. Free the roads. Free the roads. Free the roads, huh? Well, the rails are still there, Bulgy. So deal with it. I heard the stuff you did, and I gotta say, what you did was stupid, Bulgy. Carrying so many passengers, and that you broke your axle? That is the most messed up thing you've ever done. Oh, really, Emily? Just like when you accidentally derailed some trucks and were having trouble with the troublesome trucks. That stuff is really different, Bulgy. But later, railways will be torn up into roads. That will never happen, Bulgy. Everyone knows that the railway is always there. So unless you want to be turned into a hen house again, we I suggest that you stop saying mess up things to the railway and shut your mouth and deal with it. Now what you don't mind, I gotta get those pastures to Pirateton Station. I'll see you around, Bulgy. And with that, Emily went off without saying anything else. I'll show those engines. I'll show them. Oh, I'll... Sure, I'll show them what it feels like to be humiliated. George had been more horrid than ever. He said mess up insults to one of the engines when they passed by, but the engines just ignored him. And this made Bulgy insulted. I will show them. Free the roads! Free the roads from Terminate! Later that night, the engines talked for a little bit. They were still thinking about Bulgy. Uh, that bus almost took my passengers. And because of it, I was late while taking the Flying Kipper yesterday. Ah, I that double dagger bus, that stupid bus is nothing but trouble and he's nothing but a muggle nuisance. I Donald We gotta do something about it. That bus is nothing but trouble. Later when I was pulling the express while Gordon's at the work skin repairs, I end up at the crossing because of Bulgy because he's blocking the way. That double-decker bus is nothing but trouble! 
It doesn't matter what else happens, James. What matters is we do to stop him. How can we, Bolt? She is nothing but trouble. I know, Kiernan, but don't worry. We'll think of something. The engines don't know, but one of them decided to keep an eye on Bulgy. The next day, Donald was taking passengers, and he was still thinking about Bulgy. I... I hope Bulgy's not... thing... I hope he's doing nothing. Hey, get my passengers back! I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you lie to me! You took my passengers! Give them back, Bulgy, please! Oh, I. What is going on? Tell Bulgy, Donald. Bulgy's taking my passengers. And those passengers need to go to the big station on the Crafter Railway. Is that right? I don't know what he's talking about. Ah, I don't you even lie to him. You're nothing but a mug of nuisance. Give Steamer his passengers back. Unless he wants the top of hat to be involved in this. Bulgy was fuming, but he had no other choice and the passengers got out of Bulgy and got into Ada, Jane, and Mabel. Oh, I don't listen to him. He wouldn't notice it if it ran him on his side accidentally. That Uncle Nuisance shouldn't notice it if he ran onto the other side of him. Thank you, Donald. Oh, I and don't worry, Bulger will be due with soon. It is crazy like when me and Douglas deal with the spike bolt brake ban, and Donald told Steamer about it. And then later, Douglas tried pushing James over the hill, but then he smashed the brake fan. The spike bolt brake ban, we don't know what happened to it. We don't know if he's got repaired or scrapped or if he's still alive somewhere. But he is already deal with. Wow, Donald, that's awesome. And don't worry, lad. I'm sure that Double Dagger Buzz will get what's coming to him. And with that, Don went off. I agree with Donald on it. I'm sure he will be deal with. Yeah, I think you're right, Blue Pearl. I'm sure things will be okay. I don't know. I don't know why does the engines keep doing this. I don't do well with those engines. And the way that one of the Scottish twins told me to get that engine's passengers back, I can't believe it. Uh, they probably did that to me to disrespect me. Uh, I can't believe that's what exactly what that green engine said with the number 12. They probably did this to disrespect me. Well, I'm not going down without a fight. Would you shut up, Bulgy? Everyone's trying to sleep. I'll show them. I'll show them. And later, they'll notice it. While Bulgy still think what to do, he noticed. He has to think of wait just to pay the engines out. The next morning, Daisy arrives at Ellsbridge Station to take some passengers to Harwick. But she noticed there were only a few passengers. Huh, where are the other passengers? 
passengers. That's weird. I didn't know there's only a few. Then she noticed Bulgy had her passengers. You passenger stealer! Get my passengers back! Sorry, but they rather to go by road. Not my words, theirs. And with that bulge, you went off. Yeah, Daisy was fuming when she noticed it. Passenger stealer! Later, Bulgy headed down the road. I'll still show them. I'll still show them. Then Bulgy heard something. I, I think, think I, I felt, felt something, something leaky. leaky. But, but I, I can't, can't let, let my, my driver know. know. And I can't let anyone know, because I'll get in trouble again. Bulgy, is everything okay? Uh, yeah, driver, I'm, I'm fine. We should be heading to the next station. Later, when Emily heard what happened, she was upset. I can't believe Bulgy took Daisy's passengers. I didn't know he could be a passenger stealer. Emily was still thinking about what Bulgy did. As Emily was still thinking what to say to Bulgy when they next met, they... Bulgy was on the crossing. Emily was surprised. Broken remains the crossing gates were on him, and it was broken apart. Elizabeth was there, and she explained everything. Still think that could free the roads? I think... It serves you right for being careless. Bulgy said nothing. He didn't listen to Elizabeth or Emily. He felt very foolish. This bus had lied to us. Yeah, he wants to think that railways are difficult. And so they won't let us get out. And what he did is wrong. And during it, he was leaking fuel and he accidentally broke the crossing. Yeah, and me and Princess Jasmine noticed it. Can you get us to the next station as soon as Bulgy's move off the crossing, Emily? Of course, Aladdin, Cassie, and Jasmine. I'm sure I'll get you guys to Ellsworth Station on time. With long chains connected to Trevor and Bulgy, Trevor pulled Bulgy off the crossing. Aladdin, Cassim, and Jasmine went to the coaches and Emily went off. She felt very proud to be helpful and she knew she doesn't have to worry about Bulgy anymore. Later the next day, Emily and Toby and Harriet and Daisy are at the station. Don't tell me Bulgy did something messed up. But Emily realized he didn't. Out came Bulgy in a different new coat of paint. Bulgy, what happened to you? The workmen ran out of my paint. They were painting me in my green paint. Oh, but I really wish I was back in my red paint. Don't worry. At least you're taking passengers still. And for that, why don't you be a market bus again? Uh, totally not. I'd rather be taking passengers like I always do. Well, that's what I thought. And unless you want Sir Topham Hat and fall, that suggests that you don't tell lies. 
once again. Before Bulgy could say anything else, the conductor blew the whistle, and with that, one of the engines went back to work. Bulgy said nothing. He had a lot to think about, and he thought that stealing Daisy's passengers and telling lies and that he broke down at the crossing was really worth all the trouble. Hey, Bulgy. Nice paint. Looks like your lies had made your paint different. Oh, shut up. It's not funny. Okay, this is really getting irritating. Why do I have to be in this freaking paint? But later, there was worse to come. Oh, hi, Dougie. Who's that bus in the green paint? Oh, it's just bulgy in a different color. Still think you're saying this? You're a disgrace to the road. Oh, shut up, Lori One. It what? It was my lies that caused it, not me. I'd rather be in my original paint and taking pastures again. But I had to wait for five days till I do. Then you'll be just a useful bus than you'll ever be, and at least you won't be telling lies anymore. I think not. Don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs>